Hello and welcome to another episode of Implant Pokemon. On today's episode, I will be playing with an updated version of Durant. Um, a version of Durant without the Weavile and uh, Sneasel. And I'm also going to be testing out uh, Smoochim as, uh, as, I guess, a tech or a, another tool to disrupt my opponent so I can complete uh, my Devour. Um, on this match, my opponent's going to be playing with Ursarong Prime and a few other interesting Pokemon. Uh, I guess I'll just spoil it right away. Uh, he doesn't take six prizes, and uh, he doesn't really take more than two. But that's not what makes... The reason why I'm putting up this video is because it's actually a really interesting matchup. And uh, the Pokemon that he uses, and the trainers, and everything that he uses in his deck is actually something very unique I've never played against before. And as we saw here, he's got uh, nearly 8,000 cards. Uh, he's going to, you know, he's closing in on his 1,000 wins. So uh, I thought it was neat to play somebody that has, um, you know, everything that he could want available to him. I try to put up interesting games, either interesting decks or interesting matchups, um, and not just post videos where I'm using some random deck and I'm beating my opponent who's playing, you know, something terrible. Uh, I don't find that terribly interesting. So hopefully you aren't sick of watching Durant decks and uh, enjoy this video. So I'm going to start with a Smoochum, and I'm also going to start with a Pokemon Collector and a Dual Ball, which is along with a Metal Energy, which I honestly, it, it just doesn't get any better than that. That's the exact perfect start that you want with a Durant deck. Um, and that's why I play with both Collector and Dual Ball, just to get that four Ant Devour going right away. So I see here I don't have any Durants prized, and I'll go ahead and Dual Ball, see if I can get the fourth, which I do. And I will go ahead and take that fourth Durant, and I am off to um, a, just a, a perfect start. So my opponent here is going to acknowledge that uh, <laughs> I had a nice start, but it's not me, it's just luck. And I will go ahead and just tell him, you know, I'm very lucky. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down my four Durants. Uh, really not much more to do here. Uh, just an absolutely dream hand. I mean, I even have a Juniper and a Crushing Hammer. Um, just an absolutely, you couldn't ask for a better start. So I will go ahead and devour, and for some reason, well, it's Pokemon TCGO, which means everything's broke, and I'm noticing here I devoured one card, which is terribly annoying. So my opponent here is also acknowledging that he plays in real life as well, getting a second place in a city in Belgium, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I doubt you're watching this, but if you are, congratulations. And I'm just letting him know here that I only devoured for one. And I've never experienced that. I play Durant quite a bit, just because it's fun, for me anyway, and uh, I've never had that specific glitch. So here I'm finally getting to see what's in his deck, and I see an Apom and a Tedarusa. And I'm very uh, surprised, actually. That's not what I was expecting to see. So he's using the APOM that has tail code, which he'll be able to move an energy from my Durant onto my Smoochum, which is gonna be super annoying. But I think that's actually a pretty good um, strategy. So we see that he's not loading up his bench. Um, he is just, he's got a, I assume he's already got a very specific um, plan in mind for this matchup and uh, denying me devours and having me waste my resources uh, he's going to turn that strategy right back against me so I did fail on a crushing hammer but I get lucky and get a lost remover and I'll go ahead and put that rainbow energy into the discard pile and set him back on an energy uh, attachment You'll see a lot during this game. Uh, I'll be looking at the cards. These are not cards people usually play with. Go ahead and dual ball, get crap out of my hand. Dual ball's not really gonna be in handy anymore. Uh, from here on out, uh, when a Durant gets knocked out, I'll just be using revive. And here we are able to get the full four card devour. And I've already put two catchers and a double colorless into the discard, which is excellent. Unfortunately, no Ursarong Primes have gone into the discard. He's going to go ahead and evolve, and that's what he's going to use to take me out, which he'll be able to do for two energy. So here we see a judge, and my relatively strong hand of six will drop down to a hand of four. 
And not really the best four, but at least there's an N. Because he is going to, again, move a metal energy onto my Smoochum. Now, I'm not aware of any Durant deck that plays Energy Retrieval, Fisherman. Uh, the best chance I have... Well, he's not going to knock out Smoochum either, so... I guess I could have secret up my Smoochum to get those back. Um, I actually didn't think about that at the time. But this is one of the nice things about going back and watching your matches. You can kind of have a fresh look at it. So I'm still curious as to why my opponent's playing with Psychic Energy. It appears he runs all colorless Pokemon. I guess he just had the most fancy basic energy of Psychic, and that's just what he chose to go with. And he does get an energy onto his Apom. I guess he had it from last time, and he's going to start powering up his Ursa Ring. He's going to go ahead and judge me again. And let's see if I can get a decent hand of four. And we do. So we're going to get another metal and a crushing hammer and an end. So again, very, very lucky. But we do run a very, very thick supporter line. So that should happen. I'm going to go ahead and crushing hammer. This time I will get a heads. And I'm debating who to take it off of, but I decide on the APOM just because I'm tired of getting my energy moved on to Smoochum. And I go ahead and N, get another Crushing Hammer. And you'll see there's a switch here. And I guess the switch is for getting out Cabalions and Rotoms from the active or to get rid of special conditions like Paralyze or Confusion. This is only like the third game I've played with this specific set of cards. So um, I haven't really made any tweaks. I do like, so far I've liked Smoochum, and it's helpful to have a free retreater and to help stop from starting with Rotom or Cabalion, so it is a decent card. Others will go with the Mime Jr. to lost, uh, to lost Zone things. Um, it's probably good in the mirror match when your opponent uses Rotom to put a Durant on, or hopefully put a Durant on the top of their deck, and then you use whatever Mime Jr.'s move is to put that Durant into the Lost Zone so they cannot see it again. So my opponent is actually doing all right as well with the third judge in as many turns. And I will see that Seeker again, and I will be completely oblivious to the fact that I could... See, at this point, I wouldn't mind the switch. Completely oblivious to the fact that I could just Seeker up my Smoochum and put a metal onto my Durant. I actually completely did not think of that at all. And looking at it now, it seems like a very obvious play. And I absolutely, it never even crossed my mind. I didn't think of that at all. So I just pass. Instead of use the Seeker, what's wrong with you? I guess that's hindsight for you. So um, now I see... Man, I can't believe I missed that. It seems so obvious. But I will pass because I didn't use the Seeker. <laughs> Why? Man, I would have just had all that energy right back into my hand. So I believe he... Ah, he's going to retreat and eek, so he must have a terrible hand. I assume he's hoping to get a double colorless energy so that he can start knocking out my Durants. I have yet to see any of my Eviolites, so the 90... Um, the 90 damage that Ursaring will do with his first attack will be more than adequate. And I just end my turn, and again, not Seeker. So I have the first turn and then these two turns without actually devouring. And it's not my fault. Alrighty, so he's going to get a second energy and a damage counter onto Ursaring, which is important because then Hammer Arm will do 90 instead of 30. He will stay asleep. I will get an energy onto Durant. I will again not Seeker, and at this point, he must be laughing. Like, why didn't you use your Seeker? But I will grab a Lost Remover, which I guess is probably more important than Seeker at this point, so maybe it wasn't the worst play. And I'm just going to take that rainbow and put it into the Lost Zone. So I believe I have put two rainbows into the Lost Zone at this point. So he will wake up, and if he has a double colorless, his Ursaring will be ready to roll. 
and I'm just noticing now that he gets to discard the top card of my deck, which is incredibly ironic. And at this point, I am definitely slowed up a little bit. Um, I have a very small hand. I will be able to revive my Durant, but then with my twins, I'm going to have to decide. Oh, and I get lucky with an energy. So again, I get lucky. But I have to decide. Um, he is now in a position where he can just go ahead and uh, one-hit KO all of my Durants and potentially win. So I'm going to use Twins. I assume I'm going to grab a Juniper. And I'm wondering, I do play two Lost Remover, but one of them appears to be Prize, so I'm not going to have access to that. So I think I'm going to grab a Juniper just to have a fresh hand of seven on my next turn. And I don't really know what I'm going to grab for my second card. Um, yeah, I definitely have no idea. So I should probably... Yeah, I'm not even sure what I should do. Probably grab the Cabalion so that I can Juniper it away. Um, it's not going to be very helpful in the matchup. Uh, yeah, Revive. Yep, I guess I grab a Revive just in case he is able to take out my Smoochum. So I'm going to count as double colorless. So there's one in play, one in the discard, and I'm betting that there's probably another one in his hand. So I think the revive was the right move because he's going to probably catch her and take out a Durant if he does have it. But I'm going to go ahead and do the energy antics to him and go ahead and put that double colorless onto Cleffa to uh, disrupt him. So I will stay asleep. He won't be able to take out my Smoochum. And he does have a fairly sizable hand, which is pretty surprising. Well, I guess it's not surprising. He did eek, and he's drawn a couple of times, so he does have quite a bit of tools available at his disposal as well. So I was right. He did have... So that's the third double color list now. And he's going to junk arm away a couple of things for a catcher and probably take out my Durant that has energy on it. Um, I'm going to count one two so i've got five energy in play and one in my discard so four five six that's half of my energy and he does go ahead and catch up my durant to take his second prize and he gets to discard another energy so i only have five energy left in my deck because i have four on a smoochum so I top deck a Revive, grab a Durant, go ahead and Juniper. I do get a Catcher, a pair of Collectors, and a Junk Arm. So at this point, I will probably go ahead and Junk Arm away the Collectors. They won't be of any use any longer. And I will grab another Lost Remover and continue to put his energy into the Lost Zone. And I think... At this point, I have to decide. Actually, I cannot devour because I don't have any energy. So I actually don't really have to make a decision at all. I will just take all of his energy away from his Ursarung to slow him down. Yep, I have no way to get... I have no way to devour. And if you notice here, I don't know if I hovered over yet. Uh, I'm actually closer to decking out than he is. Um, because of using a lot of trainers every turn and relying on Juniper to get fresh hands, uh, Durant player will actually burn through their deck fairly quickly, as I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to imagine hover over soon. So there we see three energy, all special in my discard. So there we go, 13 cards in my deck. And I'm curious to see if I hover over his soon. It's also interesting to know I stay asleep again. There we go. So. I'm actually, so he grabs another Tetarusia. Not really sure why. Possibly to get whatever, whatever Apom. Yeah, three retreat cost. So at this point, he was in good shape to start swinging for 90 every turn. But with the lost removers and the energy antics, I'm just going to set him back a couple more times. 
He's going to grab a super rod to put three cards into his deck and slow down my power to devour. And I think I've mentioned this on a previous video, but I desperately wish that Super Rod worked like it's supposed to. Uh, f um, Flower Shop Lady works. You get to see the six cards your opponent puts back into their deck, but Super Rod doesn't show you which it should. Because um, I have no idea what he put in there. Um, I assume maybe a bunch of psychic energy. Um, that's all I really can assume. And I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm probably at that point counting crushing hammers, junk arms, and catchers. Just to make sure I know what's left in my deck. He curiously grabs a Tyrogue. And I wake up for the second time in a row. And at this point, I don't... I'm happy. My smooch woke up for the second time in a row. He doesn't have any energy for me to mess around with. He can't retreat. He'll have to switch. I will give him a fresh hand of four. And we're going to have a little chit chat here about Smoochum. And I agree with my opponent. Smoochum um, is actually a very strong card. Energy Antics is a terrific move. Um, it's not good against everything. Obviously, things with energy acceleration, it really doesn't matter. Um, Magnezone, for example, it doesn't really care where you put the energy because he can loss burn it from anywhere. Um, Reshiram Typhlosion, Magnezone Typhlosion all have the ability to just lay down energy anyway. Um, but uh, against a lot of decks, it's very, very strong. Durant, I'm actually, after this game, I realized how strong it was. So he's asked me if I play with a rainbow, and I believe I actually attached a rainbow at the beginning of the game. I can't remember. But the rainbow, uh, so Rotom can attack. He also asked me about Black Belt, which I don't play. Um, so with a black belt and a Rotom, you could potentially do a surprising amount of damage to kind of get rid of the problem attacker. For example, right now, um, with a black belt and a Rotom, if he had a fully powered up Ursarong, I'd be able to do 100 damage. And I believe Ursarong has 10 damage on him already. That might actually be enough to knock it out. I'm not really certain. So. We spend a little more time chit-chatting, and I apologize for not cutting this out. Um, yeah, and I can't type for... For some reason, when this game lags, um, it skips out a lot of my uh, keys. So he's going to attach another double colorless. I believe that will finally be his fourth double colorless, and I don't have to worry about them anymore. But he mentioned Prism Energy is going to be strong, and uh, I think it will be strong as well, but I think with that, uh, Crash Hammer and Lost Remover will be very popular. Um, I mean, you'd look at Six Corners, which has no energy acceleration. If you start taking away their energy, they're just they're going to get so far behind. So here, yeah, Remover instead of Remover. Um, probably just got hacked up, so... At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. There are not a whole lot of cards left in his deck, and he is not able to attack me. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm in perfect shape to finally win this game. I, I see my first Eviolite, and I think... What am I thinking? I think I'm going to Lost Remover one last time, just to make sure. I don't know what Apom evolves into, or what its evolution does. So, I'm just going to get rid of the Eviolite and the Cabalion. He can't attack me, so Eevee Light's a really easy choice. And I'm going to grab that Lost Remover again. And just take care of that double color list, just to assure that he is not able to attack me on these last two turns. Um, I believe I've used two revives, and I have Junipered one away. And I think I've used three Junk Arms to get Lost Removers. And uh, that means I really can't get knocked out anymore, or he may actually, and with the amount of energy he's messed up on my board, he may actually be able to make a comeback uh, if the circumstances are right. So I'm not even going to chance it. I will just go ahead and play the Lost Remover. Take it off of the Apom, and I will devour. And he has soon to be just two cards left in this deck and this game is over i have the metal energy and 
So he's telling me that he doesn't agree with Cabalion in Durant, and I actually don't really disagree with that. It's actually pretty terrible. Uh, I do have one game, actually, where I faced uh, Beartic Kurem, and I actually decided to take the six prizes with Cabalion rather than Devour with Durant and won the game. But it's a very situational card. So at this point, my opponent is just showing me what's left in his hand for what I can see is no apparent reason just for grins and uh it was actually a very polite opponent to play and uh i'm very curious about his deck and what else is in there and what the whole point is um, it looks like there's a lot of disruption there so i will win the game uh with devouring his entire deck uh my new durant deck here runs a lot smoother um uh, play a lot more supporters to stop that dead hand my opponent did a fairly good job uh, slowing me down many turns of Durant and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching